Yo, what's up, football fans? It's your man, Bulletman, and I'm here with our week three of college football talk. But uh, for this week, it's just going to be me. Um, our friend Polar Warhawk Gaming is not going to be on uh, this week's episode because he is getting sick. Uh, the dude can barely talk. I remember at school today when I was walking with him in the halls, you could barely understand what the man was saying. Um, his voice is gone. I know he wanted to be here tonight uh, to make this podcast. Uh, obviously, he's the host of it. He's the one that created all of this. Uh, he helps me out every week with all this, and he did help me out again with this week. Um, I got his picks, too, for this week. Uh, but he is not going to be here on uh, this week's episode. So for those of you that don't recognize my voice, I'm Bullet Films 33, also known as Bullet Man. Um, for those of you that are going to be watching this, I'm Polar Warhawk Gaming. Uh, for those of you that are watching it on my channel, what's up, everybody? I know I haven't been on it for a couple of weeks. I'm back here with another podcast, another college football episode. So before we get in uh, this week's two big matchups. Um, I just kind of want to recap on last week's game. So we had two games last week, um, and I just want to say I went 2-0 on those, or 2-for-2, two two, I guess. Um, I was able to uh, – I picked both my games to win. So uh, I'm just saying, guys, my picks my picks are doing pretty good. So you'll hear both my picks and also Polar Warhawk Gaming's picks for uh, this week's games. And uh, we're going to get into this week's games. So – for our week three of college football, I know it's already week three, um, the first game that I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the Georgia Tech, who is ranked 14 at the number eight Notre Dame. Uh, this game will be on at 3.30 p.m. Eastern on NBC, so if you guys are interested, um, these games are very fun to watch. Uh, I've, I haven't really, I never was really ever in big to uh, college football until just recently, and I've been really watching a lot of it lately, especially that Oregon and Michigan State game. That was an unbelievable game last weekend. Um, that, it was a really fun game to watch because, I mean, it's college football. Anything can happen. But let's get into the Georgia Tech at Notre Dame game. So the Fighting Irish, they open up as the two-point favorites. Uh, so And that obviously that's not big at all. So it's pretty much anyone's game. Um, but British uh, uh, Bleacher Report stated that Georgia Tech is a betting favorite as well. Now, last week Georgia Tech won 65 to 10, and that's a, that's a lot of points. Uh, so they are proved that they can score a ton of points. They also have a triple option offense type um, of offense. It's called the triple option, um, and uh, if it is Georgia Tech, they could find themselves that. Will the triple option be stopped? And if it is Georgia Tech, they could find themselves in a big hole uh, because they're not used to passing a lot during the games. Uh, now, Notre Dame, they do have some experience against this triple option type offense. Every year when they play Navy, they go against it. Um, but obviously, they are playing a different team as Georgia Tech. Uh, they are ranked 14th in the country. Now, Georgia Tech only has five returning offensive players. Uh, obviously, a key player is their quarterback, Justin Thomas. Uh, but that's going to be, they got six guys who are going to be in this big game that um, are inexperienced. They're not starters. So that is going to be a test to the Georgia Tech offense. Now, um, back to when Notre Dame played Navy. The Notre, when Notre Dame faced the triple option style offense when they did play Navy, um, Navy was able to put up some big numbers against them, so it will be a test to the Notre Dame defense to see if they can stop this triple uh, option type of offense. Now, another test, a huge test for the Notre Dame team is their backup QB, who is going to have to start for this week's game. Um, that's pretty much, that. those are going to be the big things for Notre Dame. Uh, obviously, their new quarterback, I'm pretty sure he did play some last week, and the, um, so he does have a little bit of experience, but really none at all. This is going to be another big game. Uh, so the two big things for Notre Dame is them starting their backup quarterback, and then, of course, their defense. It's going to be a test to see if they can stop the triple option offense. Now, just in final, Notre Dame, they're going to have to move the ball and score points. Um for the most part, they are better athletes, 
Um, Notre Dame is better athletes, but um, with that said, it doesn't mean that Georgia Tech can not go out there and um, shock the nation. If Notre Dame can stop the triple option attack and they make them pass the ball, it's going to be hard for Georgia Tech to win the game. Um, but in final, I'm going to be picking Notre Dame. I think they're going to win 24-17. Uh, Joe is saying that Georgia Tech is going to win, so we are going uh, different directions again this week. Last week I was right, he was wrong. So we'll have to wait and see. But uh, I'm picking Notre Dame 24-17. to Joe says that Notre Dame, or jo Joe says that Georgia Tech is going to win the game. Now, the other big game this week, it's actually going to be on at the same time. So if you're going to be watching these games, you should probably be going back and forth or just be watching on two TVs or something or on your phone, on your tablet. The other big game this week, I'm really looking forward to this game. It's a big SEC matchup. It's going to be number 18 Auburn at the number 13 LSU. This is a game that's on at 3.30 Eastern on CBS. Now, this game, it's going to have to be a huge statement for one of these SEC teams, whoever's going to come out on top. Now, LSU had to jump in feet first against Mississippi State last week on the road where they did win the game 21-19 to after the game was um, originally rained out. And Auburn, they really did not play well last week. Uh, they actually dropped uh, double digits in the uh, top 25 college football ranks, AP ranks, by barely beating Jacksonville at home. Jacksonville State, my bad. At home last weekend, they actually had to win it in overtime. Uh, that's that's kind of weird. A, a big SEC team only winning in overtime against a small school team. That's something that you you're gonna have to be. Um, if I were you, if I was a Auburn fan, I'd kind of be worried about this week, this weekend's matchup against LSU. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, it's college football. Anybody can come out on top. That's why it is so interesting. But something we still don't know is the LSU passing game. Now, last week, um, when LSU played their quarterback, uh, Harris, he wasn't horrible. He, he went 9 for 14, but he only threw for 71 yards. So, uh, honestly, if Auburn, if they can stop, or, um, yeah, if Auburn, if they can stop uh, LSU's running game and force LSU to throw the ball, um that's going to that's going to be big. Uh but uh, another thing is LSU's run defense. They're okay, but not great. They did allow uh Louisville to score three times on them when they did play and Louisville's not having a good season. Uh, I believe they're 0 and 2 right now. Uh but another thing is Auburn's ground game will hum all game and that's where they could open up with some big plays, especially late in the game and potentially win the game. So pretty much for both teams, if they can stop the run and force these teams to pass, um, it can really be a close game. I think it will be a, uh, I think it'll be a really close game. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a defensive game. I think there are gonna be a lot of big plays, um, but just in final, I think this is gonna be a proving game definitely for Auburn. Obviously, barely beating Jacksonville State last weekend. Uh, if they want to prove themselves as a top college football team, especially in a big, hard conference like the SEC uh, with teams like Alabama, uh, you're going to have to play big time against these SEC teams. And LSU, um, they're they're going to be playing at LSU. So if Auburn, if they want to prove themselves, they're going to have to play a big game this weekend against um, the Tigers. Now, uh, actually, LSU, their team, uh, well, scratch that. Um, I'm going to tell you guys what who I think is going to win. I think uh, LSU, I think they will win 31-21. to 21. Um, I think they'll beat Auburn. I don't know. I, I think it can still be a close game, but I think LSU is going to end up winning. I'm having both teams this week, both home teams, I should say. I am, I'm having them both win. Now, Joe, he also says LSU is going to win. Uh, like I said, his first game, he says uh, Georgia Tech is going to win. His second game, LSU. My first game, I'm saying Notre Dame is going to win. win. Um, and then the second game, I'm saying LSU is going to win. But like I've mentioned a couple times in this episode, it's college football. Honestly, anything can happen. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's podcast. Obviously, it's not as good 
um, when we're without the uh, uh, Polar War Warhawk game and Mr. Joe. Um, this guy he is a big college football dude. I'm starting to get big into college football. I still don't know everything, so if I did mess up a couple times on some of the stuff, if I messed up player names or any of that, I apologize. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this week. Uh, week 3 college football talk it will be posted on both of our channels with our descriptions down below if you guys are interested in checking us out uh, but let, let us know down below who you guys want us to do for next week game, next week's games uh, it's going to be already be week 4 and also uh, who do you think you're going to who are going to win these games like I said it's going to be Georgia Tech at Notre Dame and um, Auburn at LSU um, I know a couple weeks ago a dude wanted us to do an LSU game here you go, man. Here's the LSU game. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smack that like button on both of our channels and subscribe. Check out our channels. Uh, they will be in the description down below. It's been your man, Bulletman, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.